Scratch the surface in Jerusalem and you'll almost always find another layer of history. That's exactly what happened in the St. Louis Hospital in Jerusalem's old city when a water pipe burst. Uh, you are standing in the French hospital. It's a very old place. And some five years ago, we had here a water pipe breaking because up there is a shower. And through the water which entered the wall, we had the white color, which was covering the stair house, coming down. And we suddenly discovered that there is something very, very interesting underneath this white color. That we have like frescoes here, which nobody knew about them. And we freed just a little part. The frescoes were discovered in a room stuffed with old furniture. This room was used for about 50 years as a storeroom. So in the beginning of the year, we decided to get rid of all the rubbish stored here, like old televisions, old beds, old cupboards. And we discovered that the paintings on the wall, from which we just had seen very little parts because of all the things stored in this room, are very, very beautiful. The painter, French Count Marie-Paul Amade de Pellat, built the hospital in the 1870s as a way of strengthening the European Catholic presence here, which was being eclipsed by the Greek Orthodox. He decided no more. I will build now in Jerusalem. I will invest in the European, in the Catholic Christianity in Jerusalem. And he raised money in a very sophisticated way. He brings thousands of wealthy French pilgrims to Jerusalem and accommodate them here in this area which we are standing, which was an open field yard. They live in a tent. And then those thousand pilgrims decided to give money to contribute to building a hospital for the Christians. De Pilat also saw himself as the last crusader. Amanda de Pilier was also an artist. He decorated all the walls of the hospital with huge figures of night of the order, the military order, the religious order. You can see the figures. He painted all the heraldic symbols of the night. He wrote all the names of the French knights who participate, the first who said. For the Media Line, I'm Linda Gradstein in Jerusalem.